Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to see about the exchange online subscription and what you should consider before uh, subscribing for the exchange online plan. Uh, you can subscribe to only exchange online or to exchange online along with the other feature in the Office 365. And Office 365 is available in the following service plan like Office 365 for small business and Office 365 for medium sized business and the enterprise. Let's see what all the plans available in the exchange online. The first one is the exchange online kiosk and it has mailbox limit up to a 1 GB. And if you talk about this uh, kiosk plan, so uh, exchange online kiosk is the most uh, basic user subscription and it includes only Outlook web app, POP3 or ActiveSync access to the mailbox and rest other controlling feature you do not uh, get in this uh, kiosk plan. The another one is exchange online plan and you get the 50 GB combined like primary and archive mailboxes. You will get uh, 50 GB for both like uh, primary mailboxes and for the archive. And the third one is like exchange online plan 2 and you get the 50 GB for the primary mailbox and plus you get the unlimited uh, space for your personal archives. But still there is a difference between like uh, exchange online plan 1 and plan 2. So what should you consider uh, before subscribing for the uh, like exchange online plan 1 or uh, online plan 2. So let's see uh, some of the difference. So exchange online kiosk is a part of Office 365 Enterprise K1 and Exchange Online Plan 1 is a part of Office 365 Enterprise 1 or 2 and Exchange Online Plan 2 is a part of Office 365 Enterprise 3 or 5. So you should think like uh, you should go for Exchange Online Plan 1 or Exchange Online Plan 2. So what you should get in Exchange uh, Plan 2, the extra feature are there. So let's see what are those extra features are. So there's a difference between exchange online plan 1 and online plan 2. So if we talk about the space, you get the 50 GB shared space for your primary mailboxes and the archive mailboxes. The total is 50 GB for exchange plan 1. And for exchange plan 2, if you subscribe, if you need a large amount of space for your archives, you should go for the exchange online plan 2. You will get the 50 GB for your primary mailboxes and you will get the unlimited space for the archive mailboxes. And if you need a voicemail for your unified messaging, uh, there is a, this feature is only available with the exchange online plan 2. And if you uh, subscribe for the exchange plan uh, 1, you will not get the uh, voicemail and unified messaging feature in exchange online plan 1. And there is no personal archive uh, in a exchange plan 1 and there is a, a personal archive in exchange uh, plan 2. And even more if you talk about like data loss prevention policy you will not get this uh, thing in exchange online plan 1 but you will get uh, that in a exchange online plan 2. So if you need all these features you should go for exchange plan 2 or and if you can set your organization without these feature you should go for exchange plan uh, 1.